We've got Steve Kovac here, Surat Sethi still with us. Um, what Larry Fink was talking about was this AI halo that is supposed to touch many other industries. Energy is certainly one of them. Software would be sort of an obvious next place to go. But I want to show you a chart of the software ETF versus the SMH chips ETF and just huge discrepancy between the both. We haven't really seen this AI halo expand beyond the chips and the mega caps, or would you disagree with that? Sarai? No, no, I totally agree because we haven't really seen it implemented yet. Right. Right. Good Companies point. have not really come out yet and said, oh, our productivity is increasing because of AI. So, you know, you've got Microsoft with Copilot and you've got these other companies, but it's to your point, it's the mega caps and it's the chip companies right now. But until we see it being used, we have to kind of make sure. And to Larry Fink's point, like if we don't have the infrastructure there, mm -hmm. I'm not sure you're going to actually get it to be used because the power needed for that, and that's the competition amongst all the chip companies, right? Why does AI require all that power? It's the chips. So these, it's the let's, chips. Just, let's just talk about those NVIDIA chips. Uh, they require enormous amounts of power. They're not the most efficient chips in the world, unlike the one that runs in your iPhone. They need these big, they run in these big data centers that take up a lot of power. And you know, Intel had that um, announcement earlier this week. They were talking about the power efficiency for their Gaudi chip, uh, their AI chip that they're gonna start selling soon, just saying it's more power efficient than the NVIDIA stuff. So you save money, not just on the chip itself, they're saying, but also on the power consumption. Here's a stat that broke it down to me. I hope I'm getting it right. But a chat GPT query takes, I think, 10 times more compute power than a simple Google. Query. Wow. So if you why, think why people are going to move. get it. Because it has to run through all the, those, through those these, yeah. serious yeah, All chips. the different algorithms that it's running through. So yeah. it's trying to, in fact, incorporate everything else there. So what you're really going to need is much more energy. You're going to need utilities to get more power. You're going to need more gas. And you're going to need data centers. You know, this is what we hear CEO Sam of OpenAI, Sam Altman, talking about a lot. In fact, he was in the Middle East this week talking about this very problem. Who builds the data centers? It's, Who builds them? It could be many people. I mean, it the depends. It's the, company, the, the companies the themselves yeah. do the, the it. Amazons, the Amazons, the exactly. Microsoft. Exactly. exactly. Companies like Digital Realty and yeah. Real Estate. Yeah. And you have Equinix that also has the interconnection. So you've got all these other companies, but Boy. you need the power behind it. So it's what are the utilities in California, right? So it's the Edisons, the AESs of the world. But... It, it has to all kind of, yeah, it, it, they have to come together. There's an interesting article in the journals heard on the street today saying how you can use AI to actually make the grid more efficient and household consumption more efficient. So maybe this will all work together. <laughs> all right, let's uh, talk about Apple bucking that downtrend today, as we just mentioned a moment or so ago. Yesterday, its best day since last May, up 3% for the week. Uh, Steve, why the move in Apple? Is it too about AI? A little bit. I know Surat has some other thoughts on this, but let's just talk about the AI angle here for a second. So yesterday, Bloomberg had this report that came out that said Apple is preparing to update its uh, Mac computer chips and going to kind of frame them as AI chips and unleash some new AI capabilities on these uh, devices later this year. But of course, none of that really matters unless they have some really great user-facing uh, features that we're expecting to see on June 10th at their annual developers conference. What that looks like, we have no idea. But that's part of it. And I know, Sarat, you have some thoughts yeah, on this as well. Look, and Apple is one of these stocks that's become like a treasury bill in the technology <laughs> world, right? It's, it's come down. It's down 7% for the year. But it's one, the amount of cash there. People are, are safe in it right now. That doesn't say anything about the growth of Apple. I mean, you haven't really seen earnings growth. There is no really growth. Yeah. Revenue growth. But it's going to be a question of what, and everybody's talked about it. Why is it lagged behind Meta? Why is it lagged behind Amazon and Microsoft? Because they haven't really said, what are we going to use AI for, right? So the marketing has come out, but let's see what the execution's going to be. What is the